And will Fnatic nade up, or are they going to go mostly Kevlar? Three smokes actually on Fnatic, which is quite awesome actually. They can. That's that's going to be very useful at preventing that's the early. Knife. Uh, the three smokes will be very useful at preventing the early rushes, and Crimson is going to be on the kit as well. So Fnatic playing it, uh, you know, their usual consistent save style. Okay. So, Envy looking for some information outside, not seeing anything yet. They have to assume that somebody's going to be in the garage area. That is Flusher playing outside. He's rotating his position. Nice headshot onto screen there. Headshot Master going down in the first round. See, Happy's running distraction here. He's got a frag onto the A site as well. Trade coming in, but the rest of his team, save for Smiths, are already in the B bomb site. Shock's planting in the smoke there. Flusher's going to try and. Sh oh, JW's going to poke him down actually. Four versus two now, make that one. Smith's last man standing. And that is a very nice hold indeed from Fnatic. And this is the this is one of the reasons why this map is really hard to deal with, because now Fnatic have given themselves a really nice start and Envious, the only rounds that they're gonna be able to win as T's is gonna be the buy one. The buy, the buy rounds. You don't get the kind of the you know the random pistol round and maybe the, the next couple easier uh, rounds to pick up and before the CTs get their money going. But no, now it's uh, well, they're actually going to force it up and see what they can get done with this. Are they going to go for a ramp play? How is this going to work right now? They don't have any grenades really to work with. Just one flash on Scream and an HE on Happy. But that is it. And they're just waiting out the pre-nades for now. And you can only imagine that they want to get a rush going together here and try to overwhelm some positions. But they don't really have the nades for upper, so you'd I would probably expect them to finish on or try to get ramp together. We'll have to see how this goes. Smith's got himself outside already. Yeah, that's really important. We'll see what kind of damage he can do here. Wherever he chooses to go, he's going to have to make a noise if he opens the door, if he shoots the window. It will be the door he opens, but no reaction just yet from the players. I think there may be a bit of an inkling from the CTs. I think Olaf may realize that someone's downstairs. Oh, this is nice. And they're going to go for the ramp play. They have the man below to get the distraction, and that's going to actually work out. But Olaf Meister is going to get himself out of there. And that's super key. They have lost two men, though, and Olaf and Flush are very, very weak. So this becomes doable now for Scream and Happy, who remain on Envious's side. Wow, they're so low. And Happy's going to switch it up. Oh, goes up the top of the ladder, but won't get the, cr the frag right there. Going to me uh, miss with the HE, unfortunately for him. And uh, they are going to change their routes. Now there's two on three, it's uh, quite interesting. There's the most healthy player, Krim's peeking out, gonna spot exactly the intention. And they are now surrounded by Fnatic with 10 seconds to plant the bomb. Now can they get this done? Happy with a quick switch, they're able to take down Olaf, but the bomb will get planted and they've killed three players. And despite it being a winnable round and maybe, maybe Envious fans being a little bit sad they didn't pick that one up, they did a hell of a job in that round regardless. Lots of damage done. They are going to be able to, uh, if they really want to, keep the pressure on. And having done so much damage, they may decide just to do that. It is envious after all. So scout on Smiths. Indeed, they want to keep the pressure on. And this is one of the reasons why it can be so fun to watch envious as they are a side. They always love to keep the pressure on. That's that's a style of play that suits them and suits the, uh, the overwhelming amounts of individual skill that this team possesses and the happy commands. So it's about to see now if Fnatic can be a wise to this because the most dangerous part about this initially is not knowing the type of investment from the other team. But you've got to, you've got to, uh, you've got to understand that uh, Fnatic know their opponents very well. Envious is probably the number one team that Fnatic will be studying, considering that uh, Envious are often finding themselves in these finals. So we have a situation now where most of the prenates are, have uh, dissipated. And just looking for some more map control. They've got themselves outside at the moment. Fnatic giving up positions just to uh, make sure they have control of the upper site and have those quick rotations lower. In comes the push now onto that upper bomb site. Good spray down from Crim. going to get two frags, but the trades are coming in. And that's a two on two now. Envious. Going to put it down to just Olaf Meister, and again, lots of damage done, but the bomb not planted in this round. But once again, th they could really realistically choose to keep the pressure on and keep the buys going. And uh, there's there's no reason for them not to keep going with these buys, considering the fact that they did so much damage. We can see Fnatic's buy this round is far worse than it was th the previous one, and Envious is uh, not too far off what it was. So they are really, this is the war of attrition. Um, 
to its truest meaning here from Envious. Envious are one of the best, if not the best team, at closing the distance and really making the best use of uh, that force buy. So much damage done to Fnatic. And uh, this is this really could go either way with the kind of weaponry we have on show. That said, maybe we are underestimating the power of those two MP7s on Pronax and Crims. NBK with a Galil. See Smith there with the scout. Flash with a nice angle there on the tires, looking towards the squeaky area where there are three T's. And Smith makes himself known with that scout. Nice headshot onto Flusher. Just holding the angle. Oh, JW is going to save it for his team with a triple. Looking for the quad. Pranax to clean up. And again, that really could have gone either way, but JW just wiped out Envious. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly the way he needs to win one of these rounds. Uh, the problem is, of course, is that Envious, they can, they can keep buying if they want to. But Fnatic now, they finally gained some money. And this is a really interesting situation because when we used to see Fnatic play Nuke more often, JW would just continue running around the Mag 7, playing Squeaky, etc. He's got 5k in the bank after that triple, and he's still going to just continue with the Mag 7 for now. Yeah, it's very cost efficient. But one of the best uh, and most cost efficient roles to play with a Mag 7 in the game. But we're going to see this push coming in through ramp. Can Olaf hold this? There is the flash that's going to tell him what he needs to know. And oh, the spray is good. Takes down two quick frags. And there is no one else to follow it. And he has control of the bomb. So it's looking like round over here for Envious, who have put buy after buy together to keep the pressure on as they keep damaging the economy. But Fnatic are finally having these clean rounds, thanks to JW with that mag. And there you go, five to zero. So far, so good for the Swedish side. JW six and two, still rolling with the mag, 7K in the bank. And that's gonna be super important because it's really gonna help his team should they run into difficulty later on, try and stretch things out. And that may make all the difference to them as we continue in this first half, well, I've got 7k as well. So he's doing good so far, but Envious charging through the site now with AKs. They've seen Flusher in a close position. He's gonna go down straight away. So a minute and a half on the clock. This is a very significant advantage. Look at the rotation from Fnatic. They've got three people here in secret. Are Envy going to push though? You'd never expect to see that many players in secret from a CT side. And that would make the trade situation super good if they were pushing secret, but they are not. They're going towards heaven at the moment, and they're boosting up. Now, these uh, positions from Fnatic, of course, they can get straight up the vents, but will Envious beat them to the position in time to be able to actually capitalize and have a better engagement? That's what it's about at the moment. And MVK, he's going to have a fantastic engagement up from heaven right now. Can he spy anybody? There's Pronax. He gets the duel, and he's going to spot the rest of the players. That's two quick frags from him. Really nicely done from the in-game leader of Fnatic, as Olaf Meister lurks in lobby, and JW jumping around with the mag. This guy is looking for the action, and he's gonna find just that. So Fnatic, now they have a 2 one one situation against Shocks with the AK. How much money does JW have? Let's look after the rounds. And he's still hungry for more. He's got pop flashes coming from a teammate, but Shoxy doing what Shoxy does. Headshot straight onto JW. We will try and plant in the B bomb site. Where is Olaf Meister? He's not going to try and charge just in case it's a fake. He's going to have to go for the 1v1. So Shoxy, he's uh, given the indication that he might be in a toxic carrier, but he is in fact on the control side of the B bomb site. Being very sneaky indeed. Is he going to get the shot onto Olaf? Is Olaf going to push the door area? Giving his position away now. Spray coming in from Shocks. Beast tagged to 6 HP. Has to reload. Cannot find the frag. Olaf will get the defuse and continue the clean sheet for Fnatic. And now that money will come into play that they've been saving. As well. And that was a, that's a really rough position for Shocks to, to try to use. You can see that his uh, spray control just a tiny, tiny bit off. It's so close. And he ran out of bullets. And, but in that engagement, uh, Olofmeister always has the ability to back away, whereas Shox is kind of, he's in the harder spot. So he picked an engagement, which is surprising, and that's the only advantage he got from it, because after he's found out, Olofmeister gets the ability to back away. So he needed that instant headshot, didn't get it, and now Envy is uh, still without a round. So they're going to put Shox on the AWP. That might provide the solution. Flusher goes down outside, and that's going to be some good map control very early on here for or envious, but Fnatic have shown they're very good at adapting in this way. Yeah, so last time they put three people into the secret area, they've got Crims, and he has one player for backup. The bomb is down for the time being, but lots of time on the clock is retrievable. Shock's finding another frag there, so 
Only three people remaining for Fnatic. If Envy can safely pick up the bomb, then they will be in a very strong position to get their first round on the board. We've got crossfire from Fnatic. One player is going to go down. Still lots of smokes and no choice but Fnatic to give up the bomb there. Four versus two. One of these players is going to have to have another massive clutch. We've seen JW do it many, multiple times. Seen Pronax get a nice number of frags as well, but now it's Crims versus four. Envy looking really likely to get their first round on the board here. Let's have a quick look at the money if we can. And we can see that uh, we should get one more buyout at least for Fnatic. I mean, JW has been basically the, the private bank of Fnatic after Olof had 11k as well on, after that uh, previous round. Yeah, he has not been dying at all. Which is really nice as well. Good position there from Crims. Can't get anything else out of this. Just wants to keep himself alive, and that's that's really smart. There's not much else he can do at this point. And they are chasing him down, and Crims is gunning them down as they arrive upon his position. And uh, so round number one for Envious. They finally pick up a buy round. It kind of uh, came to just winning jewels and moving fast. And that's pretty much how they got that round. It wasn't anything particularly special. Yeah, I think it might be important as well that they had, uh, they've repeatedly got really early frags on Flusher in the most recent rounds. You saw he, had, he went for a really aggressive position on the on T red, and in that time he got shot on CT red. Oh, um, JW's actually opening and Flusher's magging now. Interesting uh, decision. I think that's an ad they're trying to adapt because Flusher got picked by Shocks previous in the previous round. So JW wants to take the fight to Shocks with the AWP outside as a response, but Shocks has decided to go for the early pick towards Squeaky instead which is kind of nice for JW, because he's going to have a massive advantage if Smith decides to actually push the T red here. That's a nice angle from JW as well, because it allows him to see if they go towards T main, which they are. Is he going to see them in time? He goes for the snap, doesn't find the frag. He hasn't been tagged yet by uh, Envy. Oh, he's got Pronax for backup. Oh, he's going to see the second play, but he's going to find who first. He's going to take down Scream as well. Pronax with another multi-frag. Happy looking to get a bit of revenge. He will indeed. No fear from JW going for the peak there. So much aggression, relentless aggression from this man. Missed a few shots now, but there's only two Envy players remaining. They still have control of the bomb, however. But it's NVK versus Sweden. He will fall to the pistol of Flusher. So that rotation has paid off. Previous round, Fnatic got uh, a loss of player very early. They ro rotated him away. Put more range, JW being there with the AWP. Didn't land a shot straight away, but uh, maybe did strike the fear of the Swedish big green gun into the hearts of the French. Yeah, it was a really nice adjustment. Now Flush has got the AWP and JW's got the max seven. It's, uh, it's also always fun to see how well JW uses movement to his advantage. And when he's orping, you can see here that he always likes to keep the pace high. But uh, Shox now might find himself the edge again outside. We do have him looking at all the angles, seeing if he can clear positions one at a time. Worth, worth noting as well that people are still finding ways to peek aggressively with the orb despite the nerfs that it has had. Obviously, it's a lot more difficult now, but it's still doable. But, uh, Pranax peeking from heaven at the moment. See if he can get any spots going and. Uh, Flusher's orping from CT spawn. It's very interesting that they've given him the orb to Flusher in this spot so that JW can play Squeaky. That is a role that he's very good at and they want to keep it mixed up, keep it unpredictable. But it's going to be Pronax to take the first frag. Oh, that's a great catch there by Flusher. Looking to find some more though. He's got such a strong angle. Oh, and he's going to take down Shox who had to make that frag, but he couldn't. And now Fnatic are five against two. Envious with this, uh, this buy of theirs, this kind of force up. They're not going to get a single kill so far. It's looking quite devastating. Fnatic consistently moving their their players around, and you can see the versatility of their of their CT defense. And you can see why they chose this map. Their CT side does. It's not that it just looks strong, but it, it looks strong in various ways. Like it, in different setups, it looks strong. Envy are going to need a lot more rounds on the board here if they are to have any breathing space on the second half. Orp continues on Flusher. JW took the opportunity to pick up an AK. There are three AKs on five of the CT players, which shows you the kind of time Envious are having. Even difficult to find any frags. So, Eco coming out from them. Again, they're going to be looking to play these short ranges. Last time on the second round, or maybe it was the third, they uh, pushed through Squeaky, and you can see they're seeking the same, the same approach. The um, expectant nades coming out for Fnatic. JW keeping a very aggressive look onto Lobby as they may expect the push to come in. Here come the nades. 
can't get in. They just can't get in through these doors, and JW is locking it down. So is, uh, it's, this is always this is one of the reasons why nuke is so hard, and especially if you don't win that T pistol, because if you when you do win your buy round, it's just so hard to pick up the buy rounds as T's that it's it's very likely that you spent probably all of your money, and then the CT side will still have such a strong defense, and they're not going to be close to an eco that. They're going to put in a strong buy and potentially money screw you. But that situation, you know, even if you win the second round in a row, they probably have another buy going. So you, you have to, there's a lot of, uh, of problems you've got to get past. And we're seeing Envious suffer to, to that so far. 9-1 to one the score. And the pre-nays go down for Fnatic. And Envious take up some uh, positions across the map. But so far, it looks pretty standard. So we, had, we picked Crims, right? I think we did. I think he's like 11-4 and four at the moment. So... Person head to head with us must be sweating bullets at the moment. Alright, so Smith and Olaf will be staring at smoke for a while. We'll see what's going on elsewhere on the map. You can see now it's Crims keeping an eye on Squeaky for the time being. And I'm curious as to where Flush is playing now. Again, we saw him very passively towards CT earlier on. But where is he playing with the AWP at the moment? I think Flush is still outside in the same spot. And the Crims is going to get a double on the spray down. So just deflecting them as they arrive. Very good stuff. And that's going to make Flush a reposition. As uh, if they're making moves like that, he's thinking, okay, they're probably going to have to try to take rest and ramp control behind this. And, well, he's doubling up the defense, but no push is going to arrive. It's going to be Scream who's going to try to make the entry through main. Now, this is going to be very hard, and Flush is going to find him. Perfect timing on the rotation from Flusher to pick up that kill. And again, they can't get in the site. Shut down by Fnatic. Expertly done <coughs> by the Swedes, and uh, they are going to go 10 to 1. And Envious need an eco. Surprisingly, we haven't seen any you know upper set plays from them as well. Yeah, so it's rare that we see that generally speaking in any team. Yeah, right? I mean it does take a lot of drills, but you'd expect that most that it, it should be the in every single top level team they should always have at least one like upper rush set set play with all the nades. That should be part of every playbook for every top team. But they're just going to run in, it would seem. With the, but they don't have much in the way of grenades, so got to respect the bravery. But there it is, MBK with a nice entry. JW responding there from the heart, able to pick up two of his own. But still the advantage is heavy for Fnatic as they do close out the rounds without any trouble, really. 11 to 1 now. Nuke looking like a solid answer to the NV conundrum at the moment. However... If Envy can string a few rounds together, who knows if they can do the same straight back to Fnatic in the second half. That said, they are running out of rounds to do so. Only one on the board. Fnatic 10 up, 11 of a possible 12. So Flusher going back to uh, CT Red, but now he's down in Celebut. And another early frag, this time onto Krim. So Envy, can they capitalize on it this time? Can Flusher hold down the outside with assistance from JW? Uh, JW is just completely abandoning Hut now to try to help him out. They want to try to get some uh, some frags as the Envious do push outside for map control. They don't want to give it up for free. And Pronax is on the outer catwalk as well. So they've got three players potentially able to help deal with this. But Pronax is going to spot that they have double backed out of there. They don't know, I don't think that Shox is just still hiding around. But they are going to understand, okay, they're probably in lobby at the moment. We see the rotation coming in as well from Fnatic. They're going to reinforce uh, the ramp defense, which I think as uh, Envious have only two ways to go, ramp or it's going to be upper. And here it is, Olaf should spot them any any time now. Okay, so it's down to him to hold the ramp area. Flushers on the floor in the A site with the uh, AWP. JW coming in to help as well. He's been all over this map. Look at the setup here from Fnatic. They might have a crossfire through control if Olaf pushes that way, but he's gone back onto the site to maybe trade the double JW should it come down to that. So you can see Smith scream. With Happy just keeping an eye on ramp for the time being. The flank may come in quickly. Smith's going for the information play, but what can his teammates do with it? No frags yet. Happy getting one tra trade, but he has to know that someone else is on, on the site as well. He does just about win that one. Two versus one. He's out with his knife. He does not have time to plant the bomb. And he was just running to an untimely end. The key, the key moment there for Fnatic was uh, Pronax going up to outer catwalk, a very exposed position, very risky to take that without the proper support, especially if there's, there's a lot of T's outside. Very risky, but he went for it, and that gave them the key information. They knew that it was empty, then, then the, by deduction, Envious could only be 
in lobby right now, and they haven't shown much in the way of upper pushes. So ramp was very likely, and I think Fnatic read that very well, set up perfectly. More, more timing nades coming out for Fnatic, just to stop any potential rushes. And yet again, Envy, this time almost killing Olof. He's down to one HP very early on. He's going to find it very hard to peak the ramp indeed. And now Fnatic's gone down. So, oh sorry, JW's gone down. So Fnatic losing players almost every round very early on. That said, they've only conceded in one round out of 13. Yeah, this is the, the first time MVS looked like they have a really strong opening to the round. Three players there, Flash are coming into the uh, heaven position. He does get taken down handily by NBK as Pronax and Crims are left. And they might as well go for this, see what damage they can get done. Um, if they've got the positions to work with. Crims there in main. Not sure if he's been spotted just yet. But MVS are set up for the very fast trace. Happy gets the peek and Pronax really, there is... 0% chance that he's going to pull this one off now. And I think he respects that. And he's just going to try to keep himself alive and get some kills if they go to go for the hunt. I think he made some noise, so they should have a vague idea of where he can be. Or yeah. perhaps not. At this point, he's got nothing to lose but go for exit frags. 14,500 in the bank. The next round is the last round of the first half. He's gone for a gamble as to where they might exit. He's made the wrong one, so he won't get any additional money on this round. But... Obviously, he's more focused on hurting their economy rather than his own, which is pretty up there compared to theirs, which is hovering around the 3,000 mark. So if he did get some exit frags there, it would have been a crucial to this round. Wasn't to be. I could really see Fnatic uh, throwing in a new setup in this round as well. Um, like JW could even see him going into aggressive peaking like Hut with the AWP or, or uh, even Ramp. <coughs> I mean, that's, that's something could could easily see from him. And he is going to get on floor with the AWP. Is he going to go for that aggressive peak on Hut? Okay, he's just going to look... Okay, yeah, it looks like he's going to go for that. So JW is mixing it up. Flush is going to get taken down outside. They've been used to him orping, but JW with that orp in the hot position is going to pick up an easy kill onto MBK as they go uh, one for one. And that, of course, is going to favor Envious being the T side, but it's still Nuke. So Fnatic, if they play their setup correctly, they should mitigate that uh, inherent advantage. Okay, so Krim in the secret area is going to fall from shocks. JW. Evening the score once again in terms of body count. He's going to go for a fast peek in the vent and get away with it. Shoxi unprepared to try and contest it. He will be forced out of the vents. And Smith will get the bomb down in the smokes. Now, can Envy get into significant post plant positions here? They are all in control at the moment, but will it work out for them? As Fnatic won't expect it. And they may be looking into different places, toxic, etc try and find these players. Once they get one person down in control, they may just uh, ignore it. And it may cost them. But for now, JW, take down shock. So, two left to find. Only Scream now. Try and do it. A sub for the team. And that will be a three-man cleanup for Fnatic. 13-2. Uh, that's really, really strong. Not even getting to three rounds, Envious. And uh, Envious, they, they got three players in, in a long in control room. And that's, that is very powerful. Uh, to have the players there, you can play the doors and the window. It's you got you know good cover to to play with. So so they they gave themselves every chance to win that one. But JW with that orping from Hut was just he basically made it so that Fnatic could uh, easily wrap onto that that post plant setup more easily because he he dealt with all the lurkers, all the players you know hanging around. He killed all of them, and that those are the players that are really key in a push like that to really just completely clinch it and get positional advantages on the CTs. But now we're going to go into the pistol, the ever-crucial pistol for Envious. Now, are they going to get the headshots? That's what it's all about as uh, Fnatic rush into ramp. So they've taken one portion of map control. What else are they going to uh, go for right now? Yeah, Envy, we're going to have to rotate into different positions. You can see one person trying to hold B close to the ramp at the moment. That is NBK. And JW and the rest of his team with lots of time to play with here. They do not need to commit to either site just yet. A whole minute on the clock. You see Shoxy trying to find some information for his team. We've got one person still outside for the terrorist side. And Shoxy just keeping an eye on things in case any flank comes in. Don't want to get pinched from two sides. So the loss of ramp makes outside so much more important for the CTs. 45 seconds remaining now. We're seeing a slight exchange, but no one dead for either team just yet. I think upper is going to be... Uh, definitely, if, if they are able to like find a way towards it, can often aim, uh, have better engagements for the T's, depending on how Envious have rotated. We can actually see that Envious haven't rotated that many players just yet. I mean, Flush is providing a lot of 
pressure outside, and that pressure is going to mean that lower site, the CTs are going to be farther away than otherwise they should. So Fnatic's entry onto that bomb site is going to result in a quick plant. There's no distraction at all. Now it comes in. Smith from the back. He can make the difference, and he is three versus four. Fnatic with that bomb ticking away. How long can they hold on? Oh, we got a team kill from Scream onto Shocks straight to the face, and that's going to leave Happy left alone with 18 points of health. And Fnatic are looking at a fast finish here and nuke against the, their French counterparts. Yeah, this might be a quick one indeed. Might all come down to this force buy from Envy. Got the scout coming out for Shocks. See if any 5 7s come out here. Got one onto Scream, one onto Happy as well. MBK, of course, with the CZ as well as Smiths. Smith's possibly one of the most iconic CZ players at the moment. See if he can continue uh, that notorious streak. So timing nades coming out there. Just the smoke coming into main. Sorry, main squeaky. Just to make sure nothing crazy coming out from Fnatic. Fnatic looking for the information, trying to find out if the CTs are stacked. How many are where? Shock's first to go down in this round. It's a very nice headshot to find, actually. Um, so they just need to make sure they watch out for the stacks and the rushes, and so far they've done well there, but Happy is going to win a one-on-one, -on -one, which uh, I'm not sure how much that changes. Smith, though, is working on real change, able to take down a player outside, but they have the trade set up. Fnatic across the board, and that's going to give them a three-on-two situation. Still with superiority in the weapons, and uh, Scream's very weak. Happy's been tagged down to 60 as well, so... Fnatic looking to finish on this upper bomb site, getting the bomb planted, responding well. And Scream on 11 HP and a 5.7 is probably thinking about saving this one. He's, there's a gun down there as well, Galil as well. Nice. He can even drop the 5.7 next round, so. And these will be looking at that false fight. Now Fnatic are on match points. So scary times here for Envious. They have been. I mean, Fnatic really showing why they why they chose this. Their CT was super good. Yeah, but who knows what would happen? What would have happened if they had started on the T side? Oh yeah, yeah. You have a to wonder. And such is nu nuke. Such is nuke. Such is life. C'est la vie. All right. So match point not over yet, but it's definitely close. That's for sure. So flusher on the MP7. Three AKs and a Galil. Force buyer once again for NV. Armor on everyone apart from Shocks, who has the scout. He spent the money on the firepower instead of the protection. So this is looking for that cheeky engagement, but it's going to be Ulfmeister who takes on MBK. He did this is a fair share of damage to MBK, but let's see how much it amounts for. Scream's got to find those headshots here, but he's going to provide the distraction that Shox needs to get that scout into play. Three on four now. Envious actually finding themselves, carving themselves an advantage early on into the round. So Fnatic, Ulfmeister's really low. They've got to come together now for, a, uh, for some plays. They, they need to keep the trades alive. They need to go even better than that. They are down a man, after all. You see Happy just trying to look over the smoke. Got a bit too aggressive there. Did a fake on the ladder. Just trying to bait players are both of these teams. Uh, Shocks me with another frag. Ooh. Where's the headshot there? Two versus three now. Oh, he did get the headshot as well. I think shooting for Olofmeister, he got a Prodax in the face somehow, who was behind him. I don't know if he shot between Olofmeister's legs or what, but Olof is in, in a one on two. Here comes Smith. Oh no, Smith's going to go down. 20 seconds left to plant the bomb, and Olofmeister has every chance to take down Scream here. Scream has the health advantage. He's got the time advantage. What is Olof going to do? Trying to edge his way down onto that uh, planting spot, and he's going to flash and go for it. Oh no, he's going to try to take the jewel. He's got no time left now. He's got no time. He's got to go for the kill. Scream understands. He's going to back away. And uh, he's not even going to risk the kill after time. Um, which is actually very smart of Scream in this position. Because they really need every weapon that they can get at the moment. Every weapon, every advantage, every inch. And you have to feel at this point that the inevitable is indeed so. But never count anybody out. We've seen... Two times 13 twos, 13 twos. Uh, more than once on this map, but when it's 15 3, that is another challenge entirely. So we'll see where it can go from here. We've got the force coming out from Fnatic. We've got a scout, two gloves, two AKs. Olaf finishing off NBK after heavily tagging him on the ramp area. And again, lots of time on the clock for Fnatic here. Pronax is in a very aggressive position, so 
if the CTs, because of their limited numbers, try to go and find any information, he, on the, at the very least, is ready and waiting for them. Okay, so JW's going to open things up. Shox goes down. He's been sniping for his, uh, his team. And Fnatic, with that two-man advantage, you know, really they just need to come together on, onto some pushes here. Again, if they just played the, the basic Counter-Strike trade game um, and not go for the picks at this point, then it's hard for them to really go wrong. And you can see they are grouping up indeed on towards ramp. And there's no one really to, uh, to stop them from taking ramp, of course, because Envious, likewise, they, they want to spread themselves too thin and they are, wanna, are going to keep themselves on these fast rotations, upper and lower. Smith's um, there on the lower bomb site. It's the only one for a fast response. He's going to need to pick up at least two or three kills here on the entry to give his team a chance. Here they come. There's just one from Smith. Needed to be better. Three versus two now as Envious scramble. Oh my goodness, did he actually get some damage there? Happy going for that uh, the wall bang galore there through the through the floor. And there's the drop two against two. Here he comes. Got his teammate screamed to play with. There it is, there's the peak. Finds one. There's Crims, his location now exposed. Oh, Crims gets the wall bang. What a read. And that's going to be it. Fnatic, dominant. Now they've now they're done. They're they're fine. They're totally fine.